everyone, this is Katie, and today I'm excited to share another clip from today's episode of Staying Connected, the podcast where I talk to other people about their stories with VEDS or vascular Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. Today's episode is an interview with Lise Voyo Johansson, who lives in Norway and whose daughter Karna was diagnosed with VEDS. Lise wanted to dedicate this interview to Karna's father, Trond, who lost his life to VEDS on October 16th after the recording of this interview. In this clip from the interview, Lisa is talking about Karna's outward features and signs that she has VEDS, even as a young child. So I'm going to go ahead and share that clip. You can find the full podcast interview on my website at translucent1.blog or on all major podcast players by searching for Staying Connected. I will put a link in the description of this video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's helpful. And I'd appreciate it if you shared this to help us raise awareness of VEDS. Does he, does she look a lot like him or what are outward signs that she has VEDS? Yes, she looks just like him, like you know, all the facial appearances that like large eyes and thin nose and yeah. thin uh, and like receding gums, mm. translucent skin. She had some bruising mm. and she has always slept with her eyes open. Did you find that odd when you were when she was little? Yeah, but I didn't think so much about it because her dad did it too. Mm. So yeah, that's one I hear so often, like that so many people sleep with their eyes open with beds. Yeah. Yeah. Did she have all the translucent skin like when she was born too? I didn't think so much about it. So I'm not sure if she had it then, but she, she has it now. And she had some stretch marks when she was just like six months. And I remember I thought it, that was strange and asked the doctor why she had stretch marks, but yeah, they didn't know. They thought it was strange too. And then they didn't know what to do with that. No. Yeah. She broke her elbow when she was just like three years old. She just had a small fall and then mm. the whole elbow broke. Ouch. Yeah. So she would get, um, it's so like injuries from, from small things. Yeah. Yeah. Then what about her skin? Like, does her skin tear really easily? I know for me, like I've gotten a wound that definitely needed stitches from a couch before, from bumping into a couch. Does yeah, she, she get she that? She has stitches all over. Yeah. <laughs> 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 No. Yeah, that was a big thing when I was a kid, and there was never really an answer for it until I got diagnosed with VEDS, and it was all of a sudden this like light bulb yeah. went off for me. I remember I thought it was kind of funny because I have two boys mm -hmm. and two girls, and Connor was the only one. She had more <laughs> stitches and, or, and blue marks than all of the other kids. <laughs> and she wasn't really roughhousing that much. No. It's so it's so funny how that happens. It's like I always thought I was really hard on my body, but really everything else is just hard on my body. Yeah. Yeah, it changes the perspective when you have an answer. Yeah. Thank you so much, Lisa, again for sharing Karna's story and your experience and for raising awareness of VEDS in honor of Trond in Norway. Thank you so much again, and thank you all for listening. I will see you soon.